good morning. It is a joy of ours to share today in what is forecast to be um, in our area an unusual time. Sister Neil, good morning to you. Bless the Lord for you and your family this morning. Um, Jim Tech 80, 80, God bless you, man. Good to see y'all. It's so good to be uh, numbered among those who can say good morning. And good is um, releasing its presence all over our lives. Matthew 8, uh, verses 16 and 17 becomes a unique focus in this morning's moment where this goodness, this new life, this um, walking out of what has had a great, a great deal of neglect, uh, keeping us from uh, the best and the greatest that life uh, can provide. And um, uh, I I believe um, greatness is ahead of this. Greater is ahead of this. And we should not, cannot, must not stop until we arrive in the very grasp of uh, such goodness, such, such a level of life beyond where we are and what we are doing right now. Uh, we are favored in this Matthew's text with such a promise. L let me read it, then we'll pray. It says, and when evening had come, and I know this is in the morning, but when evening has come, or had come, they brought to him many who were demon possessed and he cast out the spirits with a word and healed all who were ill why did he heal in order <laughs> that what was spoken through Isaiah so the prescription was written <laughs> uh, for such healing. The prescription was written long ago. And then Jesus becomes the pharmacist of our times. Uh, in order that what was spoken through Isaiah, the prophet might be fulfilled, saying, he himself, took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. He took our infirmities and carried away our disease. Father, we bless you for the power of your word and for the evidence that we see now with vitality all in these physical frames and with what you yet shall bring out of times of death and devastation that we are passing through during this pandemic. Thank you for such a word of life, a word of hope, a word of your divine presence we didn't have to make an office visit, but just turn away from some of the news that's being piped into our places of life and living and just sit in the ever-present and ever-enabling presence of your word, your story, 
that we are a part of even now. We celebrate you, Lord, in this day, and we pray for the release of it upon our lives, that we'll walk within a covering today that fulfills what we shall celebrate through the healer. You know, his compassion uh, restores, restores us. His compassion restores us in every dimension uh, that pandemics make folks sick, closed in, closeted, cut off, uh, in a sense, uh, uh, cautiously, cautiously interactive because of what may be taken back home or um, not not able to uh, master the the contagion that can prevent prevent us from living taking our lives preventing us from being sociable because staying in somebody's present unmasked um, puts us in a vulnerable position to, to get it, to take it someplace else, and, and then to um, be manipulated by it, to guide it by it. Uh, I, I selectively choose his compassion and choose him as my as my walking partner, my talking uh, enabler, my pharmacist, my doctor, his compassion restores our bodies, our minds, and spirits into a new wholeness. No hurt, no longer get the best of us because now we have the best inside of us. Sickness and death is a detour in the pathway of life, but the pathway remains there. But the detours, what we have to deal with. Uh, I've had to call some of my friends who've lost um, wives, and sons, and daughters, and um, uh, now parading caravan of holy men and holy women uh, taken away from us. Uh, they have poured so much into us and none of us know when the book of life and the pages are turned uh, who, whose name is on that page. Um, but we walk on, we faith on. And in the midst of detours, the pathway is there. So sickness takes us in different directions that we have not intended to go. Our schedules change, agendas are rearranged, all in the name of sickness, whether it be in cancer ward areas of heart attack where this COVID-19 has um, become uh, one of the heavy weights that nobody want to carry. Uh, doctors have left here, uh, couldn't find a prescription that could handle it. The nurses have left here not giving attention to it, caught by it, but the attention they now give is in, in trying not to let its closing veil uh, be upon us, unsafe blood pressures, just some of the contending 
elements that families are confronted with even now. My wife and I, my oldest son, go tomorrow and get vaccine. Uh, get 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 what these times are calling for. But we go not in our own name, not because the door has been opened, the way has been made, the arrangement has come forth. We don't have to go to another state. It seems like what we've needed has come right here. We got a call. And, and now we go forth on tomorrow. The good news of the text, however, above, is we are not alone with this pandemic and the kind of um, um, arrangements that have to be made. We, we, we're not alone in, in um, trying to handle uh, financial worries, and spending, um, and um, later on receiving uh, our little angels, our grandchildren into this, this sanitized place. It's something when your wife comes in and says, I found some more <laughs> spray that we can send through the house that uh, kills viruses and bacterias that may have come forth that may not be so helpful to the environment for our children. There is one who cannot get sick, who will come where our sickness is and personally take our infirmities. What bothers us can't bother him. What can kill us cannot, could not, did not kill him. And finally, why? And that is a unique question. I think all of us have to grapple with. Why are we still alive? Why are we still healthy? Why are we still interactive, talking? That why is undergirding our presence, our voices, our testimonies, our encouragement. We are passing on what has been passed to us. Oh Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name. He's healer, y'all. <laughs> His name heals, said Jesus. His name offers new leases on life, says name, Jesus. Be, be what the pharmacist can't call in because he is our pharmacist. Be what, be what can't be delivered. <laughs> Uh, the prescription is already here, and we are walking in the relationship that heals. As healer, he makes that in which is sick well. L listen to that text one more time, then I pray and we'll leave you. It says, and when? <laughs> Uh, evening had come. Bless you in this morning's hour. Keep on living. Uh, evening is coming. We must see the revelation of this text. Highlighted as never before. They brought to him. Many who were demon possessed. The demon of this COVID-19. This attacker. Of the respiratory system. And all of the other. <laughs> Injurious areas um, uh, of this virus. And the book says, and he cast out the spirits with a word. 
Father, give us this word. Release this word. And I can hear in my spirit, he is the word. And he is our remedy. He is our answer. For it says, and healed all who were ill in order that what was spoken, what was prescribed through Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, saying, he himself, hallelujah, took our infirmities and carried away our diseases. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Uh, the limits have been set by him. He took our infirmities. What was scheduled to come to us by the hand of the enemy, the Lord stepped in and took it and said, no, I'm going to carry this away, carry this disease away. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And we pray your covering today for all who desire it by evening time we aspire to be part of that caravan and when evening had come they brought to him many who were demon possessed and he cast out the spirits with the word Release that word today, O oh Lord, and we shall celebrate your healing. Hallelujah. And I can feel it moving right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We celebrate the healing of the healer. And we look with great delight to all that he shall continue to do over each one of us today and in our households. Every room of our house, we spray Matthew 8, <laughs> 16 and 17, as we celebrate his divine presence today. In Jesus' name, blessings rest upon you.